I don't even know. I don't know what to do with her. Uh, uh, let's let's talk about the Big Mac dude. You want to do the Big Mac dude? You sound like you weren't excited. Like you'd already seen the baby that ordered all the all the burgers. I did. I did. Of, it's, it's been everywhere. That baby. That stupid fucking baby. Like who? Who? How does your baby know how to do that? If your baby knows how to do it, well, you should have locked pro- your phone. It's probably bullshit. It's probably bullshit. Those stories like that are that, that go viral like that. They're usually plants. Wisconsin man celebrates scarfing down Big Macs almost every day for 50 years. Don Gorski. Don Gorski of Fond du Lac has consumed more than 32,000 Big Macs in his life according to the Guinness World Record book. Are those American Big Macs? I don't... I, well, Wisconsin man? What is Fond du Lac? That's, that's the name of a Wisconsin town, I guess. Up there with those cheese heads. Don Gorski. Does he look like a Don Gorski to you? Yeah. Honestly... Honestly, if he's been eating Big Macs for 50 years, like, he looks pretty good. His 25,000th Big Mac, how would he fucking know? How would he know? Would you know? How would they know? But that was back in 2011, apparently. There's not a current picture of him. Hamburger aficionado from Wisconsin celebrated a golden milestone. This is on May 20th. 50 years of scarving down Big Macs almost every day. Don Gorski, 68, of Fond du Lac, has held the record for most Big Macs consumed in a lifetime for more than two decades. On Tuesday, he hit the half-century mark of eating the iconic sandwich. And his heart has not exploded. His heart. It's a wonder. And he's A-OK, right? Apparently, he has reached 32,340 Big Macs. They were going to say pounds. Guinness said Gorski has only missed eight days of chowing down on Big Macs in 50 years. He's only missed eight days where he didn't have a Big Mac. So we I got bet a, he was jonesing so hard when he was in the islands that time. We've got, we got a video... Ain't going nowhere. There ain't no McDonald's. We've got we got a video of it. I have eaten 32,340 Big Macs in my lifetime. I am closing in on 50 years next year of eating them every day. This is a McDonald's Big Mac. It's the best sandwich in the world. When I like something, it's not. It's not. It's far from the best sandwich in the world. I wonder how many tacos drunk girls have eaten. The obsession with Big Macs began because, for one thing, my love of hamburger. May 17, 1972 was the day I got... Oh, his hair is awesome. I drove to McDonald's. I Them bangs. He banging. Banging. Okay. What, what does this motherfucker do for a living? What does Don Gorsham do for a living? What does Don Gorsham... In Gorski, Wisconsin. Gorski. Gorski. In Wisconsin. He either works at a factory or he's a he's a dairy farmer. No, I think he's, he's a school teacher. He works think, at a factory or he's a farmer. I think he teaches theater or art or something. I have wine down my arm. I think he teaches theater or art or something. At a public, he probably teaches English and theater. What do you think, chat? Who's closer? If he teaches band, I don't know if he I might would, be, He might teach band. That's a good one. I don't know if I want him around my children. I don't know. No, he looks like a good guy. And I don't know. I, and I, if he was any other guy, but if he was a teacher, no. I'm going to probably eat these the rest of my life. And I threw the cartons in the back seat and uh, started counting, counting them from day one. This is 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009. I wonder if it's going to tell us. Oh, he keeps the... He's a serial killer. He's up to something sinister. Anyone that keeps this is sinister. Yeah. It's sinister. He's yeah. labeling it. It's sinister. He's labeling it. Hello. Hello. Someone call the psychiatrist. So I can tell you which Big Macs I ate on which day. Oh, fuck you, dude. You're Who do you kill at night? Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. 
Oh, oh my God, he's in Wisconsin. What did people have been dying in Wisconsin in his area? Oh my God. Hello, FBI. Hello, are you listening? Where's my FBI agent? Delicious. Dude, are you listening to this? This dude's really sinister. This is, this is Mary Gorski. This is his wife. He's killing people at truck stops. Holy shit. Sometimes I would bring him a Big Mac, but I didn't realize it would go on forever. She's complicit. She's complicit. She's complicit. 1972, I was started out eating pretty much nine a day for quite a while here. I'm not a type of person that tries new stuff, and when I like something, I stick with it. He all. keeps him in a fucking. He's, uh, he's, been, he's been eating Big Macs since he was like a fucking teenager. He keeps him in one of those fucking storage lockers that used to be like on an 18 wheeler. Uh, people that say that Big Macs are unhealthy, uh, I think it depends on the person. I think for most people, if they're nope. unhealthy, it's because they maybe eat too much. Um, for somebody like me, if I, I want a sack evaluation. Pretty much all I eat all day, but I like the fries, sure, but nope. you know, that's one of the things where I feel like I can nope. keep from eating and not gain too much weight, you know, so, but the Big Macs I gotta have, so that's my main diet. So Don comes into the restaurant quite often. Uh, since 1972, he used to come in. I, I've got to, I've got to, hold on. That dude is up to some sinister shit and he has so, to be stopped. So, the mater says the the people who are sinister are the sick bastards who come into uh, their bar uh, and get sweet and sour and garlic parm sauce mixed. Or what? They mix the they mix they mix and then they do and shooters. They do shooters at the bar of the sauce on the chicken wings on the chicken wings. No, they get sweet and sour and garlic parm mixed. Would you try that? You wouldn't try sweet and sour and garlic parm. See, I had diarrhea today for no good reason. I ate everything the <laughs> same as always. So I don't know what's up. Okay, do you like Big Macs? There's too much bread. Too much bread. You Would you like a Big Mac if it didn't have the I would like third a, slice of bread? I would like it to. It just had the top and the bottom. I would like the bottom uh, to be um, the crispy chicken. Crispy, the crispy chicken. Are you talking about the little McDonald's hack where you put like the? Yeah, I'm about to switch up these meats and make it right. And then I'm <laughs> I'm gonna put the double quarter pounder after the second beef meat, and then I'm gonna have a chicken and a quarter pounder, and then with all the sauce and everything, and then that's that's what I want going on. But with the you want a quarter pounder? Yeah, and chicken, the crispy with, chicken. with the crispy chicken under it. Not the mech chicken, the crispy chicken. Oh, I like the Mick chicken. Fuck you. You don't know what's up. Well, you, I fucking eat at McDonald's. Last time I ate at McDonald's was like five fucking years ago. Yeah, so you don't know what's up. I don't eat up. at goddamn McDonald's, but like I like a Mick chicken they, sandwich. They're the only ones open right now on, on, on the DoorDash. Yeah, you got us drunk. We can't go to a cookout or something. I might be walking home tonight. <laughs> You don't have to leave a parking lot. There's no chance of. A, I mean, we live with with some cops, but like, like, what no... happens if I back into somebody though? Damn. I mean, I'll walk you home if I if you have to walk home. <laughs> I think you're. I think you'd be able to make it though. The you... pool opens tomorrow at noon. Anybody want to go swimming? I thought they didn't know when the pool was gonna. I open. got a text message today. You should probably check your spam emails. Tomorrow at noon, the pool opens. Well, I don't give a shit about the pool. Y'all want to see see me see me pull my titties out at the pool? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> not gonna happen. She's gonna she's gonna go to McDon or go to McDonald's, go to the pool at the like time when there are the least amount of people. Three a.m. The best time. And that's also, we also have a hot tub. So you can go from hot tub pool, hot tub pool. And you can pretend like you're eight years old at the Holiday Inn. It's great. Nothing chilling at the Holiday Inn. I want to know what this motherfucker does for a living. Can I look? <laughs> like, he's probably on the, he's probably on the Wikipedia. I can tell you what he does as a hobby. Kills people. <laughs> I could probably look, he's probably on the Wikipedia, right? What it doesn't it doesn't tell me where what he actually because he kills people. I want to know. I want to know. 
Oh, he worked as a correctional officer. Hey, it fits the profile of a motherfucking serial killer. Worked as a correctional officer. Told you what's up. This is why I'm single. I psychologically profile every motherfucker, and I'm like, oh, I can tell you everything about you. I was like, did you know your eye was fucked up? And she's got she's got access to court records. And he goes, no, man, I can see out of both of my eyes. I said, no, you can't, sir. I wouldn't let you paint a wall. And he goes, ha, you're right. One of my eyes is gone. <laughs> but what? But what if? What if? <laughs> Like he's just channeling that that fucking anxiety, that energy, whatever it is. And he's channeling it into Big Macs. If there was a Big Mac mother, if there was it a key, it's what keeps him from being a fucking serial killer. That he obsesses over goddamn Big Macs. What what's wrong with that? He doesn't. He does that as 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 a release. That's, <laughs> that's part of his control. She said that it's to part me multiple of times. His control. But that doesn't that doesn't mean that he's necessarily a serial killer. He's a serial killer. He might have the traits, but he's channeling it into something else. Now that's just a trait right there, is that. Sorry, it's not a channeling. That's a show. So when that motherfucker dies, it's gonna be like Jimmy Savile, and we're gonna find out all kinds of shit about him. He's the, gonna, the he's, that he's gonna be uh, King Jellybean on that fucking uh, Rick and Morty episode. Remember they were in the stairs and King Jellybean uh, raped Morty, and then uh, he exposed King Jellybean and it, how everything unfolded. Yes, King Jellybean. She has had too much to drink. If I was if I was a bartender, I would cut her off. But she's the bartender. I'm on the same property that I live. I'm on the same property that I live. I'm on the same property that I live. I pay rent here. <laughs> <laughs> I pay I pay the rents. I pay the rents in this month. I haven't paid this month because it ain't due until the 5th. And there's this <laughs> something in the back of me that won't let me pay my rent until the 5th. Because fuck them. They're not getting it until the very last day. The very last day. I'm gonna wait and make you wait. Hey, freaky people. Thanks for checking out this short clip of the Friday Night Freak Show. Be sure to tune in for the live show and interact with Justin and Sparkles on Twitch, Fridays at 10 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Pacific. Twitch.tv forward slash Justin Freakin'.